Hello friends, my name is Gautam and you are watching the part 4 in the uh, tutorial series of making a real-time chat application in Node.js, Socket.io and uh, Express.js. So in the last tutorial we have made our server file that is index.js. So let me show the file to you. So this was the file we have included Express, Socket and we have made an instance of Express in the variable app. We have created our server which was listening on the port number 8000 and we console the message on the console that is the server is listening on the port 8000 so basically when we open the when we open this on the browser it is saying to us that is it cannot get so this basically means that it cannot basically send our send the static files because we haven't made any file in order to uh, see it. So basically in this tutorial we will be making our index.html file which will be residing in the public directory which will be called by the server and will be seen in, in this uh, browser. So basically let me create my index.html file. So let me navigate to my directory of chat. So let me open Gotham and this is a directory chat and let me make a new directory of public so this will hold all the files which will be shown to the public so let me open new and save this file as index.html so let me put the structure first HTML and the head. So let me give a title of socket IO chat application. So after that, we just have to make the body so I will not write the whole code so I have some code I have the, given the link in the description you can check and copy this code because the sole motive is to show you the real time functionality aspect not this HTML and CSS stuff so I will just copy paste the code let me copy so this is let me explain to you what is this this is the div of Mario chat I have called this Mario chat and it contains another div section of chat window output and feedback and two input fields are there that is of handle and message so handle represent the username which will be typing the message and the message will be the actual message which will be sent to the server and basically a button is there of send so after that it completes so let me save this and let me create the style sheet let me save this also in the same directory public and let me call this style.css and also copy this code I have given the link in the description you can check so we copy copy and paste and save it so let me include it into my index.html link relative style sheet type is equal to text slash css and the href attribute is style.css so this includes my style sheet and let me save this and run this again so the server is listening on the port 8000 so let me click refresh so as you can see no changes have occurred because we haven't included it this file into our server file that is index.js so in order to include it into our server we will just write app.use we will use this file and in the parentheses I will provide express.static and in single quotes the name of the file 
that is index dot h in the quotes the name of the di directory so you will provide the name of the directory so in this case the name of the directory holding our files is public so i will simply write public so just save this and again go to this so it has started our is listening on the port 8000 so let me refresh it so let me type localhost and colon followed by the port number 8000 so as you can see here my file is ready my application is ready with handle and message and this send button so we can type here so let me click send so as you can see here nothing is happening because we have not uh, written any code inside the server file or at the client site so in the next tutorial we will be building the functionality so stay tuned guys i will be seeing you in the next tutorial thank you very much